Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this episode, we're gonna continue to work on the Forester. If you watch this video here, I explain what we're gonna do today. And basically, we're gonna be replacing the rocket cover gasket because it's leaking right on top of the up pipe. But before we get too deep into today's video, let's roll the intro. Bastard thing. In other cars it might be a bit easier to do your rocket cover gasket in this one it's not going to be so much harder but it's going to be a bit more tedious because one of the rocket cover gaskets is down there and the other one is going to be down here so i'm going to replace the one on the uh, right hand side because it's the one that is leaking on top of the up pipe i'll go underneath in a bit and i'll show you exactly what it looks like but we're gonna have to remove the air box we're gonna have to remove this pipe here and move these lines away so we can actually get access to the rocket cover so if you look down there that's one of the bolts for the air box and then the other one is gonna be right here right there i'm gonna let them soak for a bit and then i'm gonna remove them meanwhile what we can do is just start removing these pipes from the air box so we can remove them so we can remove the air box easier as well be careful with this one we're gonna have to disconnect our mouth just like that and now let's push it over and under and let's just leave it somewhere in there right now the other thing that we're going to have to disconnect is this clip from here and our throttle cable most likely so ideally I think what I'm going to do is disconnect this one and if it gets to the point where I need a bit more space if that's right in the middle which I don't think so I might take this one out as well alright so let's try to remove this air box it's going to be a 12 right there And that seems like it's coming out nicely so hopefully it's a good sign of how this job is going to go today yep seems like that's coming out nicely too and here we go the two bolts for the airbox Right, so now we've got a better view of what rocket cover it looks like and what we're going to have to do is remove all the bolts the two coils these two pipes right here and there are going to be more bolts down there somewhere so what i'm going to do is soak them first and then we're going to attempt to remove them all right so we're going to try to get them out they are going to be 10 mil that's one loose they're not going to be torqued to a lot of newton meters so in theory we should be able to remove them quite easy so that's one out two out just going to go slowly releasing them that's another one now we're going to have three up here then we're going to have one and two there and we're gonna have another three at the bottom the ones at the bottom people do say that they are quite hard to get but I reckon if we go under the car if we jack it up or maybe if we take the wheel off we should be able to get to them so I'm gonna take them three out and then we need to take the ones from the coils as well so I'm gonna unplug them first 
so the three top ones are 10 mil and the ones holding the coil packs are 12 the other ones are going to be 10 mil as well so the one right there on the left hand side on the right hand side the one on the left which is going to be a bit harder to get to because you're quite close to the sub frame so you're going to have to use a spanner i reckon so and uh, then the ones at the bottom are going to be as well 10 mil so let's get them off i have removed now the coil packs which they had these two 12 mil bolts and the way that you're gonna take them out is basically grab them wiggle them and when you got them out here twist them up this side for example you twist them upside down and then they slide up this way this one here is a bit easier so basically you just slide out turn it upside down and it just come right out you got enough space to be able to get both of them without damaging them so now we're going to remove the rest of the bolts that we got here as you can see that one is already loose this one right here and so are that one and that one that one down there that is the uh, sensor the oxygen sensor there so that bracket we're gonna have to remember that it goes with the coil pack the right back so this is cylinder this is cylinder number three i believe so we need to remember that now what we're going to do is remove the three bolts right at the bottom so so we've got the coils out and almost every single bolt out including the one right at the back now i'm going to show you a trick to get the ones at the bottom if you're struggling here from the top for the real one i recommend you to get a spanner 10 mil spanner and you'll be able to remove it but for these two you can use a ratchet with a small socket so it hasn't so the socket doesn't have to be the socket can be deep if we come under the car where the wheel is you're gonna see a plastic compartment that you can remove to access to your lambda sensor and as well right there you can see one two and if we go this way three bolts right there so we can remove it from here instead of struggling with our hand right next to the subframe all right so now that we got all the bolts out what we're gonna have to do is remove those two pipes that you can see it right there so that one and that one which i don't think that clip is uh, original but well hopefully that whole scene back in place when we put it back on but yeah we're gonna try to remove that pipe and that pipe and once we got that out we should be able to actually just remove the, the whole rock cover out these two hoses depending on the uh, model that you've got depending on the engine you've got are gonna have sometimes a uh, gasket right here so you're gonna have like two bolts i think to remove them i did buy them because i thought this one will have it but actually this one is just half straight pipe right there two pipes which they were quite a bit of a nightmare because they were they have been there probably since the engine was built so they were quite attached to it so now that we got that out we can take our rocket cover out we can remove the gasket clean all this sealant that is going to have in the places that i'm going to show you now in a minute and we're going to have to remove as well you're not going to be able to see it but i'll show you in a minute we're going to have to remove right here the uh, half moons and for that i got something a bit more special to go in And you can see right there is where this was broken right at the bottom so that's why it was leaking so this is good thing we're replacing it here we go all camshafts all right so what we're gonna have to do now is clean all the edges and as well we're gonna have to remove let me see if I can show you
down there you're gonna see the half moons this one there and one down there as well so those ones are going to be a bit harder to get out but we're going to have to take them out clean that so we can put a new one in there we go one of a half moons and as you can see we need to put sealant on it which i'm going to put three i'm going to put three bond i think it's called but as you can see as well we just put it on the groove and not too much so if we go down here now right there's exactly where this half moon goes so what i did is just get a mole grip and just pull it out it wasn't too hard to tighten there just be careful you don't damage the camshaft and now what we're gonna have to do is take the one right at the bottom as well all right these are the half moons that we're gonna be using now they are fuji racing and they're basically aluminium instead of rubber so they should last a bit longer it has the same groove than the other ones so what we're gonna do is put three bond in here and then we're gonna put them in place the half moons are both installed as you can see one down there and one just up here you need to get them as flush as you can with the actual uh, with the actual cylinder head because otherwise they're gonna leak but they with a bit of fiddling you will be able to get them in perfectly and now we're gonna put the new seal in and get the rocket cover gasket back on I've cleaned the rocket cover a bit what are the places that you actually have to clean properly are going to be all the groups where we're going to be putting the new seal so make sure you clean this bit here and this bit here where the uh, seals for the coils go in so let's put the new one back in and uh, let's install it back on once we have our gasket on make sure it's nice and clean make sure you push it down all the way okay and then we're going to do and what we're going to do now we're going to have to put some three bond or some sort of sealant now on the manual it says that you're going to have to put some in here some in here and some in here and those are the places where the manual says that you can put or you should put sealant i mean if you want to put all over the place it's up to you but those are the places where the manual says we have to put some so Let's put some on there and let's put it back in the car. I'm in the back seat. You should probably take the wheel. I'm kind of twisted inside and I don't know where I'm going. I'm just here for the ride, okay? Fuck, here comes a double vision. This Megan Fox have a ton of sun. I don't think you're going to be able to see much, but we basically put in the bolts back on with the washers still got a few more to do so i'm gonna put them back on and i'll catch up with you in a second all right so we got everything back on i just need to get that clip right further down and apart from that everything is nice and talk show you here which way has to go which way you have to talk it i just need to connect the wiring for the coils pull the air box and then we're gonna have to start it up and see if it leaks now that everything is back on torqued tight everything good to go what we're gonna do is leave it for around two or three hours just for the bond to seal to cure and then after that we should be able to move the car back and then start it up and see if it leaks one thing i'm gonna say that i have that i haven't mentioned what i was doing is that before you take in your rocket cover and all that what i would recommend you to do is put either a rag or paper or anything like this underneath because otherwise it's going to leak oil on your floor or on your up pipe even though like my one is already leaking on it so i didn't really bother about that i just clean a bit of it i just cleaned a bit of it and that was about it but if you if you don't want that to happen to you just make sure you put something underneath the rocket cover so it doesn't leak i was editing this video and i realized i realized i haven't done an outro for this video so we did test the car, it doesn't leak, so that's problem solved. We got other issues, but you'll see in future videos, and that's probably the reason why you won't see that car, unfortunately, for a while. But we'll talk about that in another time, I don't want to bring the mood down. So, if your rocket cover was leaking, whether it's the right hand side or the left hand side, it's basically almost the same process. Uh, the one on the left hand side, you have your um, 
dipstick so what is going to happen with us i think you're going to have to remove it to be able to have a bit more space but it should be sort of the same job and you should be able to get to the bolts sort of in the same way as i show you on this one but i don't want to make this outro too long so as usual thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for subscribing if you do and i shall see you very shortly